Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Sci Fi Revol Tech Skeleton. It's from a sh movie, I think. I don't think it's a show called Jason and the Agronauts. It says it right here. Uh, it's a really old movie. They actually got some pictures of it within. It's just a, a classic old movie. I can't say I've ever seen it before. Some things to mention before I get started. I did get this used from a seller on IG. I've known him for quite a while. I will put his name down here so you can see it and you can follow him. He takes really, really good pictures. He's on articulated comic book art and stuff like that. So he's one of the more impressive artists out there. But just it's it's used, so there are some dents in the box. And as you can see, his head fell off. So I just don't want you guys to think that that's Revil Tech's fault. So here is the skeleton out of the box. Unfortunately, mine has a really, really loose hip joint, so I'll try to work my way around that. Aesthetically, everything looks really, really good. He's, you can even see cracks in his skull. The rib cage looks really well done. The sternum, all the bones, from what I know, look pretty anatomically correct. Even his pelvis, they've got holes in there. So everything looks really, really good. The back butt bone... No complaints aesthetically. Not a lot going on for it, but there is the shading in the paint with the gray and the lighter grays and stuff like that. And you can even see his teeth bones. So even though not a lot is going on, that's perfect for this kind of figure because it's not supposed to be an extravagant figure with a lot going on. It's just supposed to be a skeleton warrior, so it fits. So Revil Tech is a weird company because they pretty much name themselves and pride themselves on their joints but they have some of the worst and most annoying joints out there uh, they work but they're really annoying you often have to pull apart and then you're supposed to get like a this and you're supposed to turn them and it even says it on the box that that's how you're supposed to turn the joints and everything and that's just really weird and inefficient um, the joints do work and you often do get lots of articulation especially when you're nothing but a bag of bones you're gonna get lots of articulation so he's got a ball joint here and a ball joint there so he gets all that and then well, I didn't turn it the right way but as you can see he gets a full range of motion around there sometimes you don't have to actually pull it off you can just spin it around and you can uh, work it that way keep spinning it until that joint finally gets where you want it but that's not the most proficient way to do it and uh, there's another problem with Revil Tech joints is they like to fall out and get loose um, so yeah two joints right here he's even got a jaw joint which is pretty awesome that looks really great he's got a full range of motion here on the arms you can twist around, go up and down, elbow joint, that thing going like that. <laughs> so we're getting all the normal articulation but a little bit more because he's got no muscles or definition to actually <clears throat> interfere with the joints. He comes with two basically waist joints here, this lower one which is the one that's really loose so it's going to be kind of hard to show you exactly what is going on but as you can see he's got two so man he can just he can fold himself in half but you're not going to get any articulation out of that with any other figure that I can think of that's pretty crazy hip joints can only go about that far out you can go all the way around and it's, a lot of it's just manipulating the joint like I said earlier you gotta pull them out and move them around a little bit more than 90 degrees or actually I don't know it's a good range of motion I don't know what I'm saying. And then we get articulation that goes like that. No rocker. All the joints are pretty much the same thing. We get a peg here, a peg there, and it just goes like that. I mean, that's how all the joints are pretty much. And everywhere in this figure, I don't see anything different. One of the great things about older Revil Tech figures is all the stuff they come with. Lately, they've been really skipping out, and they haven't been coming with Jack. But the older figures, like the skeleton, this is actually version 2 of the original one they, le they released. So this is a, a re-release, and they came with lots of stuff, but uh, it's not any different than the first one. I uh, just wanted to throw it out there. But anyways, they come with lots of accessories. Here's some other hand molds we get. A little fist here, this holds a sword. Don't try to force the handle of the sword through the hand. You have to detach it from the bottom. Um, I haven't seen a figure do that in a while, to be honest. And then, and then you, you know, stick it through and reattach it. So, doing it otherwise, you'll most likely break the figure, so don't be stupid. Do that with the sword. 
another pair of open hands. Comes with two shields, which is pretty awesome. Um, this guy, does, he can't hold the shield, so I guess both the shields are for him. Not sure what the reason he gets two shields. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to mean anything. He comes with an arm that can hold on to the shield. You see a peg hole here, and uh, these are two pegs right here. Basically, it tells you that you slip it in this way. It's a tight fit. That's what she said. And then you just align the peg holes and you shove it in there. Pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. And then of course to attach it to the skeleton you just pull it off. You gotta take the whole peg with you because this already has a peg in it. And shove it in. Boom boom boom. So I don't think it would matter in particular. This is a right arm and it doesn't come with a left arm to hold the shield. But I mean, if he's holding the shield like this, no one's gonna know the difference if it's on the left arm or right arm, to be honest. So if I put it on the other hand, you no one would probably really know. Now let's get to the base. You saw me assembling that a little bit earlier while I was jabbering on. This little hole in here. I still haven't really figured out what the freaking hole is for. I so this guy comes with articulated jaw, a head that pops off. It's just a peg, it doesn't move, it can go 360. It can do the exorcist, but it can't go up and down at all. And the arm just has a normal Revil Tech joint that you can turn. Um, the wrist has some articulation in it, I believe. Not a normal Revil Tech joint, it's just a hinge that can go this like this. I don't even think, yeah, I can't even turn. I can't 360 it at all. Um, the sword can come out of his hand, so he doesn't need it. You can put the spear in there if you'd like. Uh, again, you can't, I don't think you can pull out the hand. I'm not going to try. From what I can tell, it's not the same as the other joints. It's really just a hinge. Don't try to pull it out because it's not going to come out. To attach this little guy, the peg hole's right there. And he's also pretty good freestanding. I mean, you don't even have to attach him to this. If you got pretty creative, you can think of some cool things to do with him. I don't really know what this hole is for right here. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but he's got a peg right here, and you stick it in. So yeah, that is where his leg goes, but his his body's not getting support that it needs right now, so he's just kind of flopping over. You can display it as such. I've seen it. It's on the box. Pete, they have it displayed like this. Just, I mean, whatever floats your boat. I think this also has a little slot right here. You can put the shield there, hold it like that. I mean, whatever uh, makes you happy, I guess. I mean, maybe that's the reason why they have two shields, so you can put one back there. Just kind of, it, it builds an atmosphere. Let's just say that. <laughs> so overall, this is a pretty rad figure. Um, you know, it does have some joint problems that hopefully I can fix on my own. But I'm not going to count that against Revil Tech because I don't know if it was made this way or if the guy who sold it to me, he, he takes a lot of pictures, so maybe it just... It eventually got loose, but I think I could probably fix it on my own. The mold, like I said, is simple, and the paint is simple, but that's awesome because it's a skeleton. You don't want anything else other than simple, and it works, and it looks freaking fantastic. I definitely would recommend it if you can find it. I got mine for 50 bucks each that included shipping. That's about the price I would pay for it. I've been waiting for Revil Tech to do a third release on these, and they just haven't done it, and I kind of just got impatient. I was like, I don't want some. Give them to me now. It's a great army builder. Uh, in the 6th inch scale, I don't think there's any other skeleton figure that can really match it. I don't know if there even are any other skeleton figures such as this. But yeah, I, I wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks for it. It's just not too much going on uh, if you get more than that. Plus, I think the original price was around 30 uh, Maybe, fingers crossed, they will do that third release. I at least want one or two more to have three or four just to get my army built up. But that's just me rambling about stuff you don't care about. Uh, if you like this figure, if you want more cool figures just like it, check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate you watching. Peace out.